Welcome to Rob Schmidt tonight. Special Counsel Robert Hur releasing his exoneration of Joe Biden today in a move best described as the deep state covering up for its favorite son. Today's report catalogs egregious behavior with classified documents by Joe Biden and then makes every attempt to marginalize and forgive it. Robert Hur paints Biden as a well-intentioned elder statesman who made a bit of a boo-boo. The executive summary reads like a collaboration between her and one of Biden's attorneys, stating there's no point in prosecution because Biden's cooperation with the investigation, including reporting to the government that the Afghanistan documents were in his Delaware garage, will likely convince some jurors that he made an innocent mistake. Her casually shows the extent of Biden's carelessness with highly sensitive material. We learned Biden kept classified information about an ongoing war in Afghanistan in his garage and at least three times read aloud classified information to his ghostwriter nearly verbatim. And it was recorded. Just for kicks, let's flash you back to last summer when the media went berserk over audio they alleged was Trump doing exactly that same thing. CNN obtained audio they believe was Trump sharing classified information about Mark Milley in Iran with a couple writers of a memoir. Take a look. These are bad, sick people. With Milley, uh, let me see that. I'll show you an example. He said that I wanted to attack Iran. Isn't it amazing? I have a big pile of papers. This thing just came up. Look. This was him. Now, the claim was never actually proven there, but the media said this was a dagger for former President Trump. It was the move that set Trump apart from the rest. Trump took classified information. Yeah, a lot of people took it, but he put the nation at risk so he could arrogantly show that information off. And they skewered the former president, as they always do. He knows it's wrong. And he acknowledged that on the, on the tape that you all uh, uh, got. You know, he says, like, look, this is classified. It's secret. You know, I could have declassified when I was president, but I didn't. These statements when he says about, I could have declassified it, but it's not. It's secret stuff. It's, you know, it, he, he is suggesting that he knows that this is very sensitive material. Right. So it tends to go to that willful intent that's necessary to prove the case. That is so reprehensible. You know, even if it's false, like, that's not good. You don't go around saying, oh, I'm cool, as Trump did, because you've got a classified document that you stole. There's nowhere on thousands of hours of Nixon tapes where Nixon makes any comment as clear, as clearly illegal, and as clearly self-aware as this Trump tape. It was worse than Watergate when Trump did it. Well, now we find Joe Biden read classified information to the guy writing his book verbatim, and Robert Hur didn't care at all, because the point of all this classified document noise is Trump. The bar on what constitutes criminal and prosecutable is essentially whatever Trump did that maybe Biden didn't do. It was criminal to share classified information with random authors until they found out Joe Biden did that too. So now the line you can't cross today is evidence tampering and obstruction. A politician can print out top secret documents and mail them to Xi Jinping. He just can't obstruct the investigation into that act. That's the line. Because that's what Trump and his valet, Walt Nauta, are alleged to have done. The one thing they told us Joe Biden didn't do. Except it appears Joe Biden might have. Recall that just before Robert Hur shut down the Biden investigation, James Comer announced timeline discrepancies in Biden's story, saying there's no reasonable explanation why so many White House employees and lawyers were so concerned with boxes at Biden's house that they thought were not classified. A year before the surprise discovery of classified documents in 2022 is what we're talking about. And that's because they weren't a surprise. And Robert Hur knows this. From his report, Biden's ghostwriter admitting way back in 2017, Biden was recorded saying he had just found all the classified stuff downstairs. They have this on tape. It sounds like Biden's staffers and lawyers were maybe tampering with evidence of a potential crime for a year before finally contacting the government to say that we had found a surprise classified box of documents. This is a cover-up. 
It certainly appears Robert Hur knows it. In that same year, Biden was out there saying things like this about Trump and his handling of classified documents. When you saw the photograph of the top secret documents laid out on the floor at Mar-a-Lago, what did you think to yourself looking at that image? How that could possibly happen. How one, anyone could be that irresponsible. It's so good. It's just so good. It's amazing. So what were Biden's staff and attorneys doing for that year before they announced their surprise discovery of classified documents to the U.S. government? I don't know. Perhaps getting rid of any damning classified information that might have pertained to China or Ukraine? James Comer writing today, important questions remain about the extent of Joe Biden retaining sensitive materials related to specific countries involving his family's influence peddling schemes that brought in millions for the Biden family. While the Justice Department has closed its investigation, the Oversight Committee's investigation continues.